Welcome back to Cosmic Journeys. The Sun has been very active lately and is about to undergo a critical and fascinating change, the reversal of its magnetic field. This phenomenon occurs roughly every 11 years, marking the midpoint of the solar cycle and has far-reaching implications for us here on Earth. The Sun's magnetic field is generated by the movement of electrically charged gases in its interior, a process known as the solar dynamo. Over time, this magnetic field becomes increasingly complex and twisted due to the Sun's rotation and convective motions, leading to a complete reversal of the magnetic polarity. The Sun is composed primarily of hydrogen and helium in the form of plasma, where electrons are not bound to atoms, resulting in a mixture of free electrons and ions. The Sun's interior is divided into several layers, with the core at the center, surrounded by the radiative zone and the convective zone. The core is where nuclear fusion occurs, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing vast amounts of energy. Above the core lies the radiative zone, where energy is transported outward through radiation. The outermost layer, the convective zone, transports energy by convection, with hot plasma rising towards the surface, cooling, and then sinking back down. The solar dynamo mechanism operates primarily in the convective zone and the tachycline, a thin layer between the radiative and convective zones. The tachycline is crucial because it's where the sun's differential rotation and shear flows play a significant role in generating the magnetic field. The sun does not rotate as a solid body, different parts rotate at different rates, with the equator rotating faster than the poles. This differential rotation stretches and twists the magnetic field lines, amplifying the magnetic field. The solar cycle is an approximately 11-year cycle during which the Sun's magnetic field goes through a series of changes, culminating in a reversal of its polarity. This cycle, driven by the solar dynamo, involves several stages. At the beginning of the solar cycle, the Sun is in a state of solar minimum, characterized by a low number of sunspots and minimal solar activity. As the cycle progresses, the number of sunspots increases, signaling the sun's peak activity, known as solar maximum. The magnetic field becomes highly complex and tangled during this period. Currently, we're in the solar maximum stage, and the sun's magnetic field is going to flip. During this stage, we can expect incredible activity from the sun that could be as deadly as it is fascinating. Scientists monitor the sun's magnetic activity using a variety of tools and techniques, such as the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory and the Solar Dynamics Observatory, which measure the Sun's magnetic field and track changes over time. Sunspots form when the Sun's magnetic field lines become twisted and tangled due to differential rotation. These sunspots, which appear as cooler, darker patches on the Sun's surface, can produce powerful solar flares and coronal mass ejections CMEs. Solar flares are intense bursts of radiation, while CMEs are massive ejections of solar wind and magnetic fields. Both phenomena can interfere with satellite communications, disrupt power grids, and pose risks to astronauts. One of the most significant risks associated with a magnetic field reversal is the increased likelihood of geomagnetic storms. These storms occur when solar wind filled with charged particles interacts with Earth's magnetic field. In extreme cases, they can cause widespread blackouts and damage to infrastructure, similar to the Carrington event of 1859, which caused severe disruptions to telegraph systems and produced spectacular auroras. The increased solar activity can enhance auroras, the natural light displays known as the northern and southern lights. However, the potential dangers of a solar storm include geomagnetic storms that could disrupt power grids, communication systems, and satellite operations. Given these risks, it is essential to be prepared for such events. Governments, space agencies, and private companies are actively working to mitigate the negative impacts of solar storms, and individuals should also be prepared with emergency supplies. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to stay updated on all the amazing things happening in the universe.